Hey y'all, it's Connie with So Crafty and I am making some microwavable bowl holders for a, a craft show coming up next weekend and I thought I'd go ahead and give you a quick tutorial on how to make make one um, the easy way. Now this is the way I do it. Uh, it. The way I do it is I've cut down the time tremendously um, instead of you know doing all those drawing all those lines and everything I don't I used to do all that but then I found a easier way to do it that's very very time efficient so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that now um, the supplies you need um, make sure you have a hundred percent cotton fabrics that's what I have here and then a hundred percent cotton batting it has to be a hundred percent cotton if not when you put in the microwave it will catch on fire and you also have to have 100% cotton thread, so make sure that your thread that you're using is also 100% cotton. So um, the what I'm making now are medium sizes, and for the medium size, you, you cut uh, 10 inch squares. So that's what I've done here. I've cut two pieces of fabrics, 10 inch squares, that's what this is, and then I've cut a 10 inch square for, out of the 100% um, cotton batting. And the batting is um, the wrapping zap. You can get that online. You can get it at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, any craft store. Um, so to get started, you're gonna do this for each, for each piece. Okay, so for one piece, I only use one piece of cotton batting. Um, that's really all you need. Um, some people will use two, one on each side, but I just use one. Um, it still it works fine and um, it also alleviates the bulkiness for your machine is it if you just use one but one piece does work so that's really all you need so you're gonna take the piece of batting and put it on the wrong side of one piece one of the squares that you have cut and then you're going to fold it in half and then here's the part that has cut down um, a lot of the time so when you are making these you want to go down on the folded part you want to go down two and a half inches because you're about to make your dart to make the bowl shape so you want to go down two and a half inches and then you're gonna sew over uh, three-fourths of an inch to create the dart and I'll show you I'll show you what I mean by that now I have a ruler here on my sewing machine that I use. And then I also have the measurements here by my presser foot. I'm gonna move this up a little bit closer so you can so you can see. So here's my ruler, okay? And then here are the measurements by your presser foot, by my presser foot. Now, I think the majority of the sewing machines have the measurements up here. Uh, but they may not all have the, the ruler right here. Now, when you're making these, the microwave bowl holders, the ruler down here is going to come in handy. So, will this up here. So, if you don't have this, you can put a piece of masking tape and then just make your own ruler like that. And you could do the same up here. So, what we're going to do is I have folded it in, in half, and I'm going to take the folded side and the end, and I'm just going to measure two and a half inches down. So, I'm just putting it on my ruler, on my sewing machine, and I'm just measuring two and a half inches down, and I'm marking my finger right here where the two and a half inches down is. Then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it at an angle, and I'm going to put the corner of where the folded part is next to the three-fourths of on that's measured by my presser foot and I'll show that to you close get to you a closer up version of that so if you can see that uh, let's see right there I have it on the edge of the three-fourths measurement right there three-fourths of an inch okay and then you're going to go ahead and take a stitch and you're going to do it diagonally so I'm going to do that now. And I'm basically just going to go to the end of where I had my finger, where that two and a half inches is. And then you're going to back stitch. You're going to back stitch to uh, secure that in place. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. 
on the other side. So I'm going to take it and then flip it and go to the other end. I'm going to do two and a half inches, mark my place for two and a half inches, and then I'm going to come up and put the corner at the three fourths of an inch, and I'm going to start at the end, make a stitch, and then back stitch right there, and then I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I have now I've made my first two darts right here. So when you open it up, you can see it's kind of it's sewn right there with a little seam, and that's going to make the curve for the bowl part. Now I'm going to fold it back over the other sides that aren't sewn together. So if you notice, these two sides have been sewn together, so they come together. And so I'm going to fold it from the other side, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Now make sure I don't have this pinned or anything. You can pin it all around if you want, but I don't do that. Um, and so I am making sure that on the inside it's all folded down and everything. Uh, so that in, just in case the fabric on the inside gets folded over, but I'm just putting my finger in there just to kind of smooth it down. And then I'm going to go down and put the edge on the zero and put my finger on the two and a half inch down. And then I'm going to come around, put the corner on the three fourths of an inch, start on the end, sew it down, and then back stitch to secure it and cut that down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. So I've got the zero. We're going to two and a half inch down, go over to the three fourths of an inch on the corner, stitch down, back stitch, and there we go. So I have finished my darts. Okay, and so now you have the nice little bowl shape starting, just like that. Okay. Alrighty, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other piece, and I'm basically, I'm not going to say anything while I do this, I'm going to just go, go through it and show you how quickly this can be done, just like this, okay? So we're going to go a minute and a half. that side is done and that took me what about a minute or so and so now I've got the bowl shape starting and then I've got my darts okay so now what you want to do is you want to cut the darts to alleviate the bulkiness just cut off where you cut where you created the dart starting from the part where you uh, double stitched but kind of move up a little bit I do about a fourth of an inch so you still want to leave some space, you know, for the stitching. And then you want to make sure too that you don't, that you don't cut the seams. And so the closer, if you want to get closer to the edge here, you could do that. And that will also help alleviate some of the bulkiness because that's where your sewing machine is going to be going over. And then I'm going to do this side too real fast. I'm just going to cut off the extra seam. Okay, now it's time to sew them together. So you're going to open it up. And then I'm going to go open this side. And I want them to be going the same way, the fabric, the same direction. So I'm making sure they're going the same way. And then you're just going to match up the seams and then your corners like this. So I'm matching up the seams and the corners. You can pin it if you want. I don't. Now I'm just going to start at one end and I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to leave um, one side open starting from the end to the dart and um, you go around about a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then what I do is I will double stitch back stitch on the seams just to make sure that they are um, secured. Uh, 
when you when you flip it right side out, you want to make sure that those are secure. So that was my first dark seam. I back stitched on it. Now I'm going around. I'm at the corner, so I'm just going to pivot and then straighten it up a little more. And then continue around. Match it up. there I mean that's that's nothing to worry about so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip the corners of where I've sewn okay and then if it's too big if the seam looks too big go ahead and clip it too just to make it a little bit closer um, that'll also help alleviate the bulkiness my machine is pretty good with that. I know some some aren't. And then to also help it, if you want, you can just cut close to the where the dart is, because that's going to be the most bulkiness, since that's where your seam is. Okay. Now, so I've done that. I've clipped my corners, and I left my opening here. Where's my opening? Right. Where is my opening? Right here. I've left my opening right here if I can get it okay now I'm just going to flip it right side out okay and you want to make sure that you push your corners out really good you can use your finger you can use your a pin you can use a um, like a skewer stick that's what I use sometimes but I don't really need it for this okay so now I've got it all Turned right side out and it's nice and flat. Okay, and now I'm going to just fold in the side that was opening, that the side that was open, so I can close up that seam and then just kind of make sure it's all even around the edges. So maybe so one's not bigger than the other. Okay. Okay, or one side's not bigger than the other. Okay, so now I'm going to do a um, top stitch all the way around the top. kind of decide which way it lays better naturally so it can either be like this or if you want it to be the other way just decide however I think it lays better this way now what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna just do a small stitch on the inside just the very bottom and then center just to make sure it doesn't come apart or, or move about um, I mean, it's probably not necessary, but I like to do that. Basically, all I do is a straight line back and forth for two or three times, and that's it. And then I'm going to cut that 
Please thread it off. And that's it. And so here is my bowl holder. And then I'll take a picture of, of it with the bowl inside so you can see it. I don't have a bowl around me real fat right now. So, but that's it. That is the bowl holder and in an easy, easy way to do it. That's done. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and like it.